YouTube, it's time. We're doing offline recording. Twitch chat's not here. It's just you and me. We're trying to get a good watcher run today. I'm going to see if I can't perform for you. Listen, I'm going to be playing the watcher. We're going to probably be going over a lot of my... Uh, wait, are we just doing boss relic swap here? A little boss relic swap for the YouTube channel? Yes! I mean, all these other options are for PP babies, right? No healing, but an extra energy. Okay. Um, but I'm angry today, and and um, so I'm gonna need to rant to you just for a little bit, and then I need you to tell me in the comments that it's all gonna be okay. Okay. We'll probably get one off an event. A lot of events in Act One are removals. Oh yeah, my day is absolutely fucking blown. Let me tell you why. So today's stream was a Risk of Rain two stream, where you know I was gonna play, and my goal was is to play Bandit and ooh. And to unlock the character Mercenary. Because Mercenary just looks pretty fun to me. Should we transform here? We did just get a Sands of Time. So I'm actually really just okay with the removing. Just less cards overall. So yeah, I was gonna just be... You gotta press the button, right? We can't heal. You gotta press the button though, right? Be a little baby. Press the button. Anyways. Uh, play Risk of Rain 2. Start off the stream. The stream starts off great. The stream starts off amazingly. We do this, this. We'll go to that. Doesn't really do a whole lot for us. Just better to slap, slap. Stream starts off uh, pretty good. Chat's bumping in the in the morning. I'm I'm having a good time hanging with them, talking with them as I do as I stall before the the stream actually gets underway. Let's take a crush joints. And right before I get into gameplay. Right before we start taking off and we get into the, the meat and potatoes of the run, someone shows up in the stream. It's the Risk of Rain 2 devs. Are we about to go infinite? <laughs> we could also take a prostate, though. It does help. But I mean, more energy plus draw is really good. And and, and the having devs in your stream is nerve-wracking because you're judging me on how i'm playing the game based on what you think is the way to play the game when the devs watch the stream that's them judging you on how they think the game should be played which is they're the fucking devs man they're the goddamn devs you don't think that they know better than all of us how to play the goddamn game right they're the ones the the, the like they're, they're the they're the ones that are the determiners of whether or not you're playing correctly. And they're not even going to judge you based on your gameplay. They're going to judge you if you, like, don't have fucking anti-aliasing on or some shit. They're like, doesn't this guy know that the game can perform at 10.5% better if he just turns on anti-aliasing? What a fucking dumbass. Am I right? And so the devs are there. And, and that's fine. Like, I'm, I'm, whatever. I'm, I'm going to get into the gameplay anyways. But as soon as I turn on the... Oh, what the hell is going on? As soon as I turn on the gameplay, screen tearing, game is unplayable, encoding overloaded on OBS, it looks like trash, the devs leave, I'm in a spiral of mauled, I'm not doing well, probably try to fix the issue over like 30 minutes, end up maulding, jumping off Risk of Rain 2, I'm coming back to the, the good old reliable, I'm coming back to some Slay the Spire, right? I'm coming back to the to the reliable mainstay game. Easy W. Oh, fucking God. <laughs> Risk of, or excuse me, Slay the Spire. Also not functioning. Also screen tearing. Bottled Flame, the one time you want it because of a, of a, of a Sands of Time? Thank you. Thank you, Slay the Spire, for giving me a beautiful run for the YouTube channel. So I can't even play Slay the Spire, which means my stream's a wash. I'm an hour and 45 minutes in. What the fuck am I doing? Why am I here? If just to suffer. I am suffering. I'm suffering majorly. So, I turn off the stream. I spend the next couple of hours troubleshooting everything, figuring out the problem. Over the last, over, over the weekend on Saturday, I spent like eight plus hours uh, taking the stream from a, it's called NDI, if you, the techie people, switching from an NDI to a, uh, capture card system of how I mesh my two computers in order to create a stream or a recording. So essentially, I was just reformatting how my entire stream functions 
on the back end because I've been experiencing some frame loss issues and just some stuttering issues and it wasn't looking pretty and it was hard. It was, it is having some encoding issues with uh, that I wasn't seeing and it wasn't seeing on stream, but then it was seeing in the recordings and in the VODs that were then getting to YouTube, right? So I was trying to go with a different solution and everything looked great. Everything looked fine. But sometime between Saturday and today, my graphics card or the uh, capture card corrupted and it started causing screen tearing issues. Had not, it, it wasn't there. I have, I, have, I, have, I have clips and VODs from on Saturday when I was testing everything. It just corrupted. Now, luckily, I have a second one, and that's what we're using right now. I have a second uh, a capture card, so hopefully it's working. Um, but I had recorded a Watcher video and uploaded it, and Andrew was in the middle of editing it. But I was like, hey, check it. Does it have screen tearing issues? And it had like a little green line that you could see the entire time and had a couple of occasional stutters. Unusable. No, I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking pissed at this point. I'm not, we're not, we're not uploading. And Andrew's got a fucking stomach bug. I just got over mine and now he's got one from vacation. He's got a little bit of upset tummy. So he's not feeling the hottest. And like, I feel bad for being like, yeah, let's, uh, I, you know, we're not going to upload that. Like I need to get a new one. I'll, you know, I can upload it uncircumcised or like, you know, you can, we can take it off. Do no, no upload. And he's like, no, 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 we got this. So God bless you, Andrew. Fucking love you, man. As always, you're the goat. I really want to fight this, even though the Log of Wulan does debuff you on turn one, because we got the smoke bomb, so at the very least, we could have just gotten some loot, but... I mean, I'm going to see if I can handle it, to be honest. We could just one-shot you on turn two, straight up. Let's see what I got. Hit him with one of these. Not quite. All right, smoke bomb it. That's fine. Hey, that's fine. That's a-okay. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. That's okay. Not even sweating that one. Let's upgrade the, the Sands of Time now that we got you in the opening hand. That, that extra 12 damage and wrath is going to mean a lot. <laughs> Welcome back. It's me. We can save a lot of energy with ice cream. But yeah, so today... Today's just... It is... It is... It has not been a good day. It is... It has been a pain in my ass, to say the least. That is the one card that I wanted, you little bitch. Uh, yeah, now we can at least do this. That. That. Jesus. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you little piece of shit, huh? You're a little turd. Should we actually try to run an expunger with ice cream? Yes. It's troll. It's not that good, so we should. But It's so bad. It's actually terrible. I'm not taking this, I don't think. Weakening on turn one is just too bad with Bottled Flame. No, do we even care about being... We just care about having the Sands of Time in our opening hand. Negative Chest would be really bad, though. I don't like Negative Chest. Okay. Weakening on turn one. Turns out that it's pretty bad. Uh, we're actually going to use this. Gonna take seven. Okay. Do, do, boo, boo, boo. Yep. Really would like another w natural way to get into wrath. That'd be sick. Sweet. <sighs> Evaluate sash whip. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Batman. Upgrade the expunger. Just want to preserve our energy here on turn one if we can. Nah, we can play the expunger now. Nine times four is fine. Kuwash. Yeah, I think that was pretty fun. <laughs> Ooh, an establishment or a vault? Establishment make the sands go faster, but it doesn't really work with anything else that we currently have. The uh, alpha we're not taking. So I'm leaning on the vault right now. It does help the sands of time go as well. It's just expensive with the ice cream. That's the reason that I don't exactly like it is because of how expensive it is with ice cream. Really would like to see a Sneko eye. Okay, show me the Sneko. Oh, man. It does hurt our chances to go infinite, but it sounds so fun. 
We could also do the super fucky thing. There's so many, there's so many fucky buttons to press here. We could also cheat and do the Pandora's box glitch. Boom! Where you uh, hit Pandora's box and then you get rid of all these cards. So we would be left with a deck that was just these, which would be bad. <laughs> I think I'm going with a Sneko Eye, man. F it. This could go poorly, but I think no matter what, this makes it an uploadable run. Even if I die to the birds on floor two of this act, I'm uploading this one. F it, dude. Andrew, I'm going to give you a nice, easy day off just for you, buddy. Let's go get that shop right there. Ooh. Hard choice immediately, huh? Hard choice immediately. Snacko, you dog. <laughs> Snacko, you fuck. The thing is, though, vaulting doesn't get rid of our weekend, so it's almost better to vault. Or not to vault, but do we want to use then speed potion? I might be dumb as shit. So far. So, okay. So, okay. Fasting? No. I don't think fasting is good with the current stuff that we have. I, I really like the thing that we have. I like a Sanctity, though. I think Sanctity could be very good here. Upgrade a card. Um, These are all energy costs, so they don't matter. So, it's Sanctity. <gasps> sanctity. I will admit, I am starting to regret my decisions here. I'm sorry, Conjure Blade. You're just not good enough right now. Or really ever. You're just... <laughs> You're kind of shit all of the time. Damn, we're one hit off of knocking you on your butt. Kind of stinks. Keep the mana here. We gotta be... We, we get to be decisive of whether or not we want to use our stuff to do ass things, right? Like, perfect. Like playing a strike for one mana, or if we would rather keep our, keep our mana for next turn and use it to play something. I don't want a fucking fasting, man. Do I want a fasting? Do I want a fasting? I don't, I really, really, really don't think this. Ah! No, it doesn't. Because what you would want is you want would want like pellets in order to get rid of it, but pellets would also get rid of the Sneko eye, which I think we almost want sometimes. Yeah. If this if this thing has a clockwork souvenir, I'm gonna maul. <clears throat> Sanctity is really nice here. This guy doesn't stick in my hand, so. Oh, and you just a one shot. That's very nice. <laughs> That's quite nice. Look at us go. Cut through fade plus is kind of nasty. Alternative form of block in the mental fortress. We currently only have one way to swap forms, but you could easily add another, right? Definitely like the option of removing here. Removing strike and then defend next. Well, like a waffle. Waffle's pretty good since we can't rest. It's a good waffle. This also is good mental fortress. And we need an upgrade, so yeah. I'm taking them both, dude. We need an upgrade for this campfire because all of these are energy upgrades, remember? So might as well take something that if we don't want to, we don't have to play. We could also go this way 
and take two late elites and get an extra upgrade and a and a and a thing. But again, we have no upgrades, so we got no upgrades, man. I got no goddamn upgrades, bro. Not getting weakened here means that I actually kind of want to let you smack me for a billion. Oh, yeah, this is great. I hit you. And then I hit you. And then I hit you. And then I play you. And then I draw you. And then I hit you again. Cost to zero, cost to zero, cost to zero. Balls. Is it fine, though? It's actually kind of fine. Then I hit you. Then I block you. And then we have you next turn. He's just too good with it. An eternal feather. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You don't want to windmill strike because it doesn't reduce itself. Same with the protect. So if you draw it and it costs something butthole, it's not good. Not super ideal the way that we drew our cards this on this fight. I want a vault. No. I want to play three mana or two mana. Two mana to block. I think is fine. Three mana. I think was too much. Six here. Our deck being so small is such a key aspect of why this works so well. <sighs> Given the enemy's vulnerable, kind of pogged up. Gremlinhorn is like AoE for people who refuse to take AoE, a.k.a. this guy. <laughs> we did find a rather good fight to find it, too. Always like killing the fat gremlins first. Let you draw a billion... I kind of like the idea of not taking any damage here. We also maybe suck balls. Okay. That's a good hundred blade. I failed this 20% roll so many times <laughs> recently that uh, I'm not surprised that I'm going to die here. Come on, vault. God damn, man. Recently, I have failed that, like, with impunity. At least we got just, like, the tattest bit lucky in response. That's nice. Eat shit, Gremlin Leader. Start each combat in calm. We love that. Love that. Meditate. Good upgrade as well. Very good upgrade. Yeah, Master Reality for the Conjure Blade. Shut up. Well, you don't need to shut up. But also, shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, don't need a Ritual Dagger with all the other damage cards that we have. Trying to keep the deck tiny, remember? Remember, man. Not exactly liking how this is playing right now. I'm also not disliking it a whole lot. Yeah, this is kind of pog. We've got two forms of vulnerable, two forms of everything, man. Just kind of owning. Take one energy, please. The deck's functioning. It's getting out of hard spots over and over and over again. I'm liking it. Ooh, tough turn here. Not lethal to anything that we do. Yikes. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage then. Ow. 
<laughs> this is a tough one. This is definitely a tough one. That is an example of a bad turn. Don't have a lot of those. I would recommend. I would recommend you not having a lot of those. My headset's about to die. Gremlin Horn. I actually don't even know if I want to play that. I feel like I don't, right? You know what? You could Conjure Blade into Vault. That's wacky. That's wacky and fricky, dude. You know? It's a little freaking wacky, man. That was a little freaking wacky, man. No, I think I don't take that. I do like an Empty Fist Plus. I, I don't think I take this Fruit Juice. As weird as that is. I think this is... You. Draw. I'm going to draw the Rush down. Knowing that you cost so much, but I respect it. Because now we're not going to be weak in this turn, so we can do... Boom. Boom. Okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, we've made it successfully through the body of Act 2. Walla plus. Solid block card. Upgrade the Meditate for sure. I don't want that establishment now. It's kind of a fun combo is Meditate establishment, especially with Snack OI. Sounds so goofy. I don't know if I want to play the Scrawl here. You know, a lot of people ask me all the time on stream, Tristan, what headset do you use? And I always tell them, it's the greatest headset. You'll never want a different one if you can, uh, if you ever get this one. It's called the Steel Series Arc This Pro Wireless. I'll actually draw the Ascenders Bane so we can get it out of the deck. And then let's spring both of you back. But Steel Series Arc This Pro Wireless. It has a hot swappable battery, meaning that I can take the battery that's in here, put it into a charging bay, take a new battery out, and you never have to go wired. It's 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 way too OP, man. It's way too OP. It really is. It's expensive. It's like a three hundred dollar headset. But for streaming. As a streamer, I think we just try to stall for a very large conjure blade here. We've kind of got the the, the ability to do so. As long as we don't get super duper fucked on our draws, which we're getting currently. <laughs> I'm in danger. Need a little bit of mana. Save it all. Save everything. Twelve mana, pretty good. Okay. Twelve plus four is sixteen. <clears throat> Uh, you could actually find it here, but then you can't get out of Wrath. So. Keep the low-cost stuff. Oh. Well, ain't this perfect. 19 times 9 seems pretty good to me. Take some vulnerable. Not currently weak in attack. So let's do it. Let's hit him. All right, so Expunger's doing a decent amount of work for us here, one might say. <laughs> I love an omniscience with a Sneko. Oh, and we get an Astrolabe? We go boom, boom, boom. Or it could be boom, boom, boom. Yeah. 
Give me some upgraded cards. Give me another omniscience. Another indignation and a lesson learned. Good thing we didn't take the establishment out because you don't really want it upgraded because then it overpopulates your opening hand. All right. Linhorn kind of pogged up here. Yikes. <laughs> Wait, I'm actually fucked. Wait, no, we have another indignation in here. What am I doing? Nice. Vault upgrade. All right. Don't really need to wait for anything else other than those lesson learned. As long as we get off a, a lesson learned in a fight, we should be pretty good. Duplicate a card in your deck. Is it just omniscience? You omniscience the omniscience, so you can omniscience the omniscience, so you can omniscience the omniscience. Yeah. Because omniscience is just so versatile. It allows you to decide what you want. Be played twice versus forcing you to play something twice, right? Okay. It's omniscience. The omniscience. But we can have two of you. And then... I don't know, just grab some block. I, I didn't think that one very very far through. Grab you, grab a big one of you, grab you back. Yep. And we have big Esponjo. Lesson learned has to be used on the last guy. I'm correct, which I believe I am most of the time. <laughs> Kristen, you're an asshole. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully we can get it off. We do have the Sprawl available to do it maybe this turn. Hey. How's it going? An eruption upgrade. Wow. I forgot how many of our upgrades are just bad. <laughs> um, a uh, collect could be good. Because it does add it to your hand. It doesn't, you know, you know what I'm saying. I think I'm going to take the Basilic Chaos over this. We just haven't been using our potions, I'm now realizing. I don't think that's much of an issue, Bun. Boom, boom, boom. That didn't kill him. Holy shit, we might be in really big trouble. You're saved. Never punished? I've never been punished in my entire life. It's actually so fucking crazy. <laughs> oh, Omniscience. The omniscience. Jesus. Shut your mouth, okay? You shut up. We want to swivel. It's a good upgrade. Yeah. The only thing with swivel is when you draw cards with Sneko and you're currently swiveled, you don't actually know what things cost, so it's can be difficult to figure out what you actually want to play. Um, this fight's usually pretty easy for you because of the fact that the double damage while you are in Wrath is affected with how much damage he's doing. Because it's, if it's zero times two, he's going to do zero, right? So you don't have to worry a whole lot. Usually just sitting in Wrath in this fight is, is uh, pretty easy to do. Would have liked to get my meditate off, but I'm going to be greedy and play the expunger. I do have a zero cost sands of time in hand, which kind of covers an entire turn, but it's it sounds kind of fun to do this. Doesn't it? I had so much fun there. Did you have fun? I wonder if we can kill him. We've got three turns left to do it. Ah, uh, this is not good. <laughs> in terms of being able to kill you, we're not... We're not getting close to that, so I'm actually just going to distill the chaos. So that I can get closer to killing him. It's not because I was scared of dying. Because I want to kill him.
And then meditate me back. You. We do have the other in indignation coming up, so let's keep both of you, since they're both pretty low cost. I thought I had the other... I did... I, I, I got rid of it. I'm such an idiot. Okay, let's draw. Once again, I don't ever get punished. Never been known to be punished in my entire life. This will cost zero. Okay. We have a chance of killing him next turn. We just need to draw specific things. Okay. I don't think we have it. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Tried. Got so close to lesson learning him. There might have been a way. I might have fucked it up somewhere in there. Don't want another wallet plus. Thank you, though. Maybe that's a good pick. Fuck that, dude. I'm getting robbed right now. Getting robbed blind, man. All right, Mr. Head. Is this a max HP head? What is that? <laughs> it's annoying. Especially when I don't get my omniscience, my omniscience up. I don't get to omniscience the omniscience. Not even anything to good to omniscience down there. Maybe the other indignation? No, I wanted it last time. Don't make me get rid of it again. Uh, keep, we can keep meditating you back to keep you costing zero. And then if he doesn't attack us next turn, we can get a decently sized conjure blade off. Okay. Yikes. These coming turns do not look good to me. 40 damage. I think it's just a vault here. Maybe draw for something. Yikes. So awkward. Okay. I didn't even do the math there, but now we just need lesson learned. Almost fucked it up. Prey plus, no thank you. Third eye, no thank you. Boom, 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 doom, doom. I'm gonna play both of these just so I can bring them back. If you omniscience a conjure blade, I don't know if it spends the mana or not. <laughs> An interesting thought. Because wait, could I omniscience the omniscience? Which would then, you could use omniscience number one to omniscience the conjure blade, and then omniscience number two to, uh, to play the, the blade itself, the expunger. I wonder if you can do that. You guys want to try it? Omniscience. The omniscience. Omniscience. No, you can't find the con the, the, the expunger. Hey! We learned something. It also doesn't consume the energy. We've learned two things today. Keep OG. Learned many a things. And I got a swivel upgrade. Almost want a second cut through fate? Yeah, I think you can take one. Hello. Repto bitch. I kind of.
kind of like the idea of playing Bowling Bash twice, but if it hits this guy twice, it sucks. No waste, no waste, no waste. I don't really want to vault. Because I don't really want to... this and then bring you back all my zero cost attacks seem good to bring back nice Hopefully we draw a way to get into Wrath this turn. That is a way to get into Wrath. It's just, do we want to do that? There's no way we don't have Lethal on him. Or on Repto. I think we can sacrifice one fight of not getting an upgrade, considering the fact that we have a Strike to upgrade. And then Scrawl Double Omniscience, which are both energy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I think we'll be okay not upgrading something this fight. Just maybe. It's in... My brain feels it. That it might be okay. Do we take 10 cards here? How much are we going to heal? So we're going to heal 5 times 3 is 15. So we'll heal 30. So yeah, we can actually slap one of those. Sadistic nature. No. <laughs> No. None of those. We can take the fasting. <laughs> what about the mayhem, though? What about the mayhem? Sometimes it kills you because it plays indignation. Sometimes it kills you because it plays a power in the Woken Bird fight. But if you don't play mayhem, you don't play the powers. Fuck it. Let's try it. This is stupid. This is so dumb. Don't do this. Oh, oh. For the YouTube content, I will take incense burner. It's so good to take incense. We can take both, though. And we can get a remove on this. Oh. I'm spoiled right now. I'm a spoiled little fucking brat, man. I'm a little spoiled little fucking brat, man. Oh, shit. I'm a little spoiled little brat, dude. Look at me, man. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I still have the idea of conjure blading while it's in the background, you know? And let's do this. I guess it could play lesson learned, but again, do we fucking care if it plays lesson learned, man? No, the answer is no. That was dope. A darkness orb? All of these are energy upgrades, man. So let's get a recall, see if we find a good card from this elite. Hello, Mayhem. Because no, we can do this. Draw into the indignation. We might die here. This might be really bad. Times three. What did we what did we play? Oh, can we see what we played? It was a wallop. <laughs> we don't have our mental fortress in play. I think it's time to use this potion. No, we can use this. But I don't really want to draw into any of that bad stuff that we can't play. So I'm gonna bring you back and I'm gonna bring you back. Okay. I think that was a good potion. Played my mental fortress. Okay. Play me, baby. Play me, baby. Wait, all my attacks actually cost zero. What is that? <laughs> I thought they were all costing zero because of the thing. 
No, they just actually cost zero. What the hell is that? And a pen nib at the end of it all. A drop kick? <laughs> if it plays with mayhem, it's pretty good. I mean, things are vulnerable all the time. Let's take a drop kick. Upgrade a drop kick. I said I needed a card to upgrade. What do you want? I'm very focused on this game. I'm just letting, uh, I'm, I'm keeping that known to you. I'm very focused on this game. All right. Omniscience. The Omniscience. Omniscience, the Mental Fortress. And the Conjure Blade. This is Pog. This is Pog. This, this has to be good, right? There's no way this isn't good. Okay. I, I refuse to believe that this isn't good. Okay, we can meditate here. Need to focus on how to block for enough first. Okay. What is he doing? Yeah, we're, we're blocking. Let's bring back Sponger zero, Ignignation zero. All right, one. Okay. I don't think we play Rushdown. There's a second Indignation down there. So you could... I think you just Vault here. Am I trolling right now? I feel like I'm not trolling, but maybe I am. I did take two damage. So that's pretty bad of me. Wow, I'd suck. We need ways to block here. We do have a wallop in our hand, actually, with a bunch of energy. No, we can actually do this. And then next turn, we should have... Next turn, we can... Double expunger if we need to, but I don't think we will. Really want to play the rush down if possible. If at all possible. Ooh, next turn's gonna suck. So I don't know if we want to kill him right now. Especially when we really don't have to. Dude. Find, find me my stuff, man. Why am I playing these now? I'm losing my shit. Okay, hold on, Tristan. Shut the fuck up. You're fine. So stupid. I'm so dumb, man. I'm so dumb. I'm dumb. I'm the dumbest. I'm the dumbest. <laughs> Was that my... What did it play? Bowling bash? Alright, no way to get Wrath triggered here. And do one of these though. Don't need to get the lesson learned off. Not required. Not necessarily required. Boss number two. Time to die. I said it. I said it. It sounded pretty cool when I said it. It sounded pretty cool when I said it. I'm not going to lie. It sounded pretty dope. Yeah. Omniscience. The omniscience. What if we played Vault here? 
Or like a block card. Could just be Wallop. It's eight cards already. Tough. Not the best here, but we did get mayhem off. That's a pretty good mayhem. Uh, hey, as far as mayhems go, that's pretty good mayhem. Okay, happy with that. That's thing down there. Thinking 30. Sucks. Don't forget you can vault at turn at number 11 in order to skip the anger phase. Nice. We are at Pendib right now. <laughs> I will say this is going a lot better than the deck that I had. Uh, yesterday when I was recording. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I feel like I've gotten really into the run and I've just stopped addressing the fact that I'm even here. I'm even existing. You know what? I think if you upgrade Omniscience, it makes you smarter. Because you get to read more books. Second rush down? Every day, baby. All day, every day. All day, every day. Alright, I realized I didn't play my incense burner. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Omniscience. Mental Fortress. Omniscience. We could draw six here. Fuck it. Let's draw six here. Sounds pogged up. <laughs> we could actually... You could vault. You could vault here. Vaulting here is actually not bad. Okay. You can get off a big conjure. Big blade. Oh, and we get really good cards next turn as well. Nine times four is not the best. 18 times four is way better though. Okay. He shouldn't be attacking me. Henry, you took the, the prismatic shard! Oh, you're toasted, man. Just get the just get the fuck out of here, man. Why don't you just get the fuck out of here, dude? Wait, it actually didn't turn me around in order to do that. That's so cool. I love all the things that we're learning today. Let me know if you've learned something about this game from what we've been doing so far. Because I've learned a lot, actually. Just crazy. Um, we could take a little bit of damage here. I think that's fine. In order to meditate. Meditate, you bring back you, you. Who's playing the new Blade? Guy from Luke Cage. Played Cottonmouth. Loved him in that. That was so was such a fun show. I can't remember. I, I'm terrible with names of actors, so. Okay. If you, if you go here, it goes turn four at the start of the hard fight. Turn five, he attacks. Turn six, he attacks. So it's okay to end it here. But I, I, I always think that turn uh, that four on the incense burner is just way better. So we're going to try for four. We'll try for four. So that the first hit is, is you just, while you're still trying to set things up, you get a little bit of help. Maybe get a panograph so we're full HP. Don't really want any of those. Thank you, though. Prismatic shard. Okay. Let's duplication potion the uh, mental fortress. We'll draw us with Centennial Puzzle. Love that. Love that. Hey, okay. Love the rush down. I think I just like the four energy versus a free attack. 
Because we won't know what it costs. So technically... Technically, this could be infinite energy to use. I don't know. I'm just going to end. Take four. Because when you draw all of the cards with sands of time, or with uh, Swivel here, they would all look like they cost zero, but you wouldn't know what their actual cost is. Also, we do block the big attack, which is disgustingly pogged up. I'm pogging right now. Oh my god, I just pogged everywhere. Oh, oh I can't stop. All right. No one's here to tell me that I'm doing a cringe, so... My Twitch chat isn't here to remind me that I'm cringe. Omniscience, the omniscience again. Well, it's actually not good to do it here. Because we wouldn't be able to play the Conjure Blade for a long, right? Because it would be for zero. Or would it be for three? Does it play for three? I don't know what it plays for, man. I don't know. Well, we get it anyways. All by ourselves. Then we can just vault. This is fucked up, man. This is fucked up what we're being allowed to do right now. <laughs> omniscience. The omniscience. So that we can omniscience the burn and omniscience the wound. Giga Chad play. That's an Omega play right there. Giga brain play. You can't convince me any differently. That play was massive. Um, I mean, yeah, we can just empty fist and pass this turn right now. I don't remember what any of these cost immediately. As soon as I stopped attacking, I forgot. Or as soon as I stopped. Yeah. Good Good turn. Good turn. Good turn! All right. Turn three down. Mayhemmy. Swivel. Don't remember when anything costs it again, but this will at least net gain us an energy, which is pretty cool. This first. Close to a pendib, so let's just try to pendib that. 54 times 5 seems pretty decent, IMHO. Um, I think we can just honestly just immediately save all of our energy, meditate back an indignation, another expunger. Expunger's actually carrying the run. And that's something that I never thought that I would say. Straight up. So. I apologize to all Expunger fans out there. I was wrong, okay? Let me say first and foremost that I, Cross Prime, was wrong. I was wrong about your card. I thought it was shit. I still think it's shit. But. <laughs> what was that? Oh, it doesn't deal any damage. Oh, that's so fun. I'm learning so much, actually, this run. Like that, since it didn't, it made it make sense why it would have done that. But since it didn't deal damage, it didn't deal damage, you know? Want to play this? I oh, know, because we can't play that. And then that, that would have been death sentence. Don't do that, Tristan. You're dumb as fuck. Okay. Let's bring these back then. Not the best cards, but it's the big attack next turn. And we're not, we're not going to be taking that much anyways. So I'm chilling. Oh, we can just kill you with a pen-nibbed expunger, the greatest card in our deck. Here, I'll do this one this time. Eldritch Blast. Carried by the expunger? A beautiful watcher run. Hey, listen. Thank you for uh, sticking with me. Thank you for listening to me rant, get my, get my shit off my chest. I might go stream some Risk of Rain too. Uh, come on by the stream, twitch.tv slash frostborn underscore. The day that this is uploaded, if you're watching this end of the stream, I'm actually playing the downfall. I'm probably gonna hate it. I didn't like it the last time. Um, that I played it, but hey, come on over the stream, please. It'd mean a lot to me or keep supporting the YouTube channel so that my editor gets paid because he makes 100% of this channel. So thank you and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah.